Hey everybody, the video you're about to see is about this. Thunderbolt Solar 100 Watt Solar Panel Kit. Yeah, you're hearing that correct. It's a four panel kit and I got one. And let's go look at the steps. It comes with incredible nice stuff this time. Harbor Freight is not kidding anymore. All right, so let's go to the video. First visit to the store. All right, we are walking through the Harbor Freight store because we are going to buy this. It is the first new 100 watt solar panel kit from Harbor Freight. Right there. So. All right. And there he is getting brought up in Harbor Freight nice and twin balls. Nice, huh? Hmm. All right, here we go. There it is, 100 watt solar panel set. Hey guys, I just showed you that beginning of the video real quick and give you an idea of what I just unboxed at my local Harbor Freight. And it's this baby right here, brand new 100 watt. They don't really go on sale for another little while, few days. Get ready to get yours because these kick it big time. They're nothing like the original 45 watt panels. Now they're close in size. So what you've got here is you've got a panel that is, you got a panel here that is 13 and a half inches wide and full length is roughly what we got here, uh, 38 and a half inches. So now I'm gonna be mounting these. I'm going to be using hat metal. This is the Harbor Freight trailer that I made the first double axle Harbor Freight trailer ever made. So I wanna show you that right there. It's got a hinge set in the back for a big fold out gate system that's gonna fold out, lay out and extend for driving my tractor up on. This thing here, uh, I'm sorry, trying to get, out, get off that, is 49 and three quarter inches wide and 10 foot, three and a half inches long. And it's the new Pokey Do Right version of the Harbor Freight double axle trailer. Now, getting back on these, I want you to look at these panels. You see that little blue light? The blue light says that it's exceeded charging rate voltage. In my shop, with diffused lights from that window, from that window, and from that window, and a little bit from up there. So what's really crazy about this is these are, these are amorphous. These are made by Toprey over in China. So they're Chinese. I think, I don't think there's a solar panel that isn't, but they're 25 watt and they're only about 8% bigger than the original 15 watt. The cool thing is, is what I'm about to show you here. Now, this is a 45 watt panel. 45 watt panel made by UL Solar, which is a Bosch panel. See, 45 watts. And this panel in size, kind of get an idea there. This panel will not produce power at the beginning of daylight. These will. This panel does produce good power, but as soon as the clouds come up, forget about it. It'll just, just drool in a little power, not much. However, these will. Fully cloudy, covered with a half inch to an inch of snow, amorphous will charge your batteries very well. This panel here shouldn't be mounted flat. It needs to be angled to the sun. However, these panels mounted flat, any angle at all produce their wattage rate. Now, here's the part that's gonna shock you. Look at this panel over here. Now, like I just showed you earlier, that's my skylight, courtesy of a Skymax Windmax turbine, don't buy them, and I put a skylight in. You know, got lemons, make lemonade, that's what happened. So, that skylight with totally diffused light, shining not on the whole panel not even shining on the whole panel guys 
it's cloudy out. The sun's just barely. That would have been bright, bright, bright. It's not. So cloudy. Now, here's what I want you to look at. Here's the wire. Okay. Here's the wire. All the way down. Back to this plate. Oh, and a benefit is the old original ones had crappy wire. This is very, very supple wire that is made to be outdoors. The old stuff just cracked all to pieces. Look at this. I mean, it's just like high quality solar wire. And it's producing 23 volts. Like that. Amorphous kicks ass, people. If you go back and look at some of my older videos, you will see that I use Amorphous. Steon, Unisolar, even some of the bigger Topres. Sunforce had some big 100 watts of uh, these, they're, they're huge. Kaneka. Amorphous is the only way to fly if you're going to go with solar power. You have a much longer period of charge. Yes, they are bigger. Yes, they require more space. If you're in town, maybe they're not for you. But if you got room, never do anything but amorphous. All right, and now before you guys start saying, oh, that's not making any power, it's not. All right, check this out. Old busted ass, but still working, because it fell out of the truck. Still has his cap on it. Busted ass Centennial battery that's three and a half years old. Okay? Wired up to the charge controller. It's got 12.1 volts in it. It's not a dead battery. This wired up to the solar panel. In my shop, with that light, you can see the pieces of wood cross membering it. Um, I want you to watch. Now you see there, the battery bars, I'm gonna plug it in. What is that? Now come on now, how in the hell is that working, right? How's that doing that? It's because it's amorphous. It's amorphous, see? Shaded, sunlight, shaded, sunlight, shaded. I mean, hell, only a third of the panel. It's got light on it. You can park this in trees. It still produces power. It's charging the battery. Now look at that. That's charging, guys. That's real. Harbor Freight has come a long ways. Harbor Freight is now competitive in the solar market, and these are damn good panels. I checked these out, made by Topre. I did a little checkout on them, and structurally, these panels are 200% better than they have ever been in history. The 100 watt kit is genuine. It's the real freaking deal. They got the coupons out for $149. You can't buy a good 100 watt panel with a lot of miscellaneous crap with it like this that's portable, that has all of its hardware, a good quality charge controller with USB ports, additional outlets for lighting so that when the sun goes down, that will turn on, supposedly supposed to turn on. The best thing that I can say is spend your money. It's worth it. It's worth it. And anybody who wants to know where I got these lights at, look down there. I always put links at the bottom of my page, the bottom or below my video where the upload date's at. So you'll be able to find that. And this, look at this. This is in real time. This ain't a joke, man. That, just sunlight coming through in my shop. I mean, come on, man. That, that window there shining on the table, barely. See it? That's it. This panel with just a few incandescent lights, a few, uh, with just a few uh, lights up here that are fluorescent, fluorescent. That panel is charging this old busted ass battery. One panel, look at how fast it's charging. Look at the rate. 
So I would say that compare that 45 watt panel for 80 some for 80 bucks, 75, 80 bucks. It can't make power except for say six to 10 hours a day and depends on the season. These will make power all the time. And they're way more durable than I've ever seen anything from Harbor Freight. I got to give them guys credit. They really did at this time. All right, folks, there's your evidence. There's your panel, mostly shaded, making power. And that's just one 25 watt panel charging that battery. Now, we're going to be mounting these through the roof of my truck. And we're gonna have another video coming up. These will mount through the roof of my truck. They're isolated bulkhead adapters like you see on an inverter. And if anybody's interested in these, I do sell these. I have thousands, so I do sell these. But we'll be using two, a black and a red, and they will go through the outer casing of my truck, camper shell. And you can look in some other videos, you'll see what I did there. But this is absolutely nice. So let's take a look real quick, then I'll end the video, and you can make your decisions. All right? All right, for those of you who are still tuned in, these are going to be mounted right up here going through this, the roof of my truck they are they will be watertight and they'll go through passing the power through to this battery bank for that big large peak inverter and if you watch my previous videos you'll see all of this and video number two will be installing them those panels using hat metal and this is the hat metal i don't know if i showed you that i may have already it is pretty heavy gauge industrial type stuff but you can get it at your local metal supply metal stud supplier um they call it furring metal it's hat metal this is will last 25 years out in the weather we're going to be bolting these panels to it of course cutting it smaller and we'll be riveting this to the roof of my truck with a rubber seam, rubber gasket, the whole length underneath. It won't leak. These panels will not be damaged and they're going to have a long life producing power for that inverter and those batteries in the back. So when my truck is parked, which is a lot, because I run, I haul cattle, my truck might sit there for a week while I'm gone and no more hard starts. I now can put seven amps of power plus constantly keeping my batteries hot and as you can see right now we're charging all right guys harbor freight man they're getting better maybe they'll copy my trailer that is kind of badass y'all be good